Welcome to the Offshore Club's fun-filled, fact-filled, fast-paced blockbuster podcast, Coffee with Karim Carter, coming to you exclusively from where the sun never sets on the good life at a great price. And now, fill up your favorite coffee mug and join your expert and your guide, Karim Carter Clues. Hi, and welcome to Coffee with Karim Carter, episode 41. It's just incredible, incredible. We were really old friends now, and hopefully we remain friends for a very, very long time to come. Today's show is going to be a little unique because I'm doing it without our super producer who couldn't be with us today, so we're not going to have as much polish. Uh, we had two great video interviews that we're not going to be able to include today, but I promise you I'll, I'll, I'll bring them to you next week. But we still have some very, very important stuff to cover and actually some housekeeping stuff that I've been wanting to share with you. And so actually this gives me the opportunity. It's going to be a little shorter today. And I hear some of you saying, well, thank God. <laughs> We're going to keep it the 20 minutes to a half an hour today. Um, and, but just fact packed, hopefully fun filled uh, with some super information. Um, first, let me tell you the, the, the two uh, gentlemen that I was going to interview that we're going to interview next week. One is, is, uh, uh, Ronald Dickman from La Ceiba Beach Club in Honduras, where I bought my home. I know, I know, I've shown you the picture of my home, which I just love, uh, like a million and one times. Uh, two bedroom, on the ocean, on the ocean, gated, guarded community, full-time gardeners, everything you could hope and dream for. Ten minutes outside of the beautiful city, the, the tourist city, capital of uh, Honduras, La Ceiba. Um, uh, $30,000. And there's one right next door for just, I think, forty five right now. Okay. Uh, grab it. Grab it. Come on down and be my neighbor and we'll do the whole beach thing together. You know, I, you know, I don't swim, but we can do fish fries on the beach. Catch them, reel them in, fry them up uh, with our other friends and neighbors down there. One of whom is Ron, who you're going to meet next week. Okay. And he's been in Honduras in La Ceiba for 25 years. Um, Several years at, at Let's Save a Beach Club. So he's going to be able to give you the low down and the highlights, both. All right. So that gives you something to look forward to next week. Plus, we're going to have Romulus. Now, some of you have already started reading Romulus's regular uh, commentary, which I think is every Wednesday, I think, Wednesday or Thursday, in the in the newsletter, the, the Offshore Club newsletter, Offshore Club uh, Gazette, uh, which is free for those of you who are tuning in for the first time. Remember, free subscription to the best offshore daily newsletter in the world, okay? <laughs> Absolutely in the world. We have people in Canada and some even in Europe that get it. Um, and so those of you who have been reading his, it's, he's part of the, the new Offshore Club Guru's Corner. Um, those of you who have been reading his material know that his, invest, his uh, uh, investment uh, analysis absolutely incredible okay you know i would say you can take it to the bank okay that's it's that good so if you haven't been reading it make sure that you read romulus's commentary every in the gazette every wednesday or thursday also at offshore.club at, at your your offshore club uh website um so don't miss out on that and next week he'll be here for an interview in fact hold on one second in fact, he and I are going to start doing a weekly interview show. Now, I told you there's going to be some, some housekeeping today, so let me let me pursue this line here. He and I are going to start doing a weekly interview podcast, okay, which I think is just going to be outstanding. Outstanding. Uh, 20 minutes to half an hour of just nothing but investment advice. Kind of like on the other side of the coin, the, the show I do every week now with Joel Nagel, and I hope you're watching that. Um, I think it's every Thursday in the Gazette and on the website, um, uh, Joel Nagel's um, Wealth Fortress Report. That is an incredible show for protecting your assets, which you need to do now. Trust me, believe me, please. More than ever in your life with this regime in the White House now and Pelosi and Schumer uh, dictating things in Congress. Folks, you need to protect your assets. All right. There are taxes coming down the pike that are simply unimaginable. Just the, 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 as Joel points out in this week's that was just up 
uh, offshore fortress report the tax. Well, they say, well, it's just on the rich. No, it's not. Uh, if you have a little small business, your taxes are going through the ceiling thanks to Biden's uh, phony infrastructure bill and the new welfare uh, bill uh, that, that uh, oh, I'm sorry, the Build Back Better bill out of your pocket, okay? Um, plus, I think you're going to find it's a 15% baseline tax increase overall on middle-income Americans, right? Don't forget the mileage tax that I told you about was in there, remember? Okay. Oh, it's only experimental pro folks. No such thing in Washington. I spent more than 40 years around these politicians at the highest levels, U.S. Senate, White House. Nothing is experimental with these people. They get it in the door, they sneak it in the door, and then they make it permanent. What was it? Uh, um, Ronald Reagan said that the um, a government program is the nearest thing we have on earth to eternal life. <laughs> That's that's just a fact of the matter. So, so that's where we are. Um, that's Romulus will be here next week for an interview, as will Ronald Dickman from La Ceiba Beach Club right there in Honduras. Those are going to be great interviews. But today, but they couldn't be with us today. But today, I do want to do a little Mad Max, which is really a variation on Mad Max. I'm not going to tell you. I just told you how awful things are. So that's enough of the Mad Max negative. But somebody, several people. People, excuse me, have said to me, well, where can I get keep up to date on what's going on? You come on, you tell us this stuff, but you're only around once a week. Where can I get regular updates? I'm going to tell you where I go. Really rely upon a lot. Free Republic, okay? FreeRepublic.com is is an, a, a kind of an article aggregator posted by members. I think they're like 25, 30,000 members. These articles are from all over the world. Every publication, videos, the, if all you did, and I'd actually recommend this for your daily news, just go to freerepublic.com. For news and commentary every day, you'd be the best informed person in your neighborhood. I'll tell you that. Uh, so check that out. Another place I go regularly. You know, I said we're going to do housekeeping. Let's do it. Another place I go regularly is Daily Reckoning. Okay. Just Google Daily Reckoning. It comes out of Agora. And it is their reports every day. They're mostly economic reports. Sometimes they go a little beyond economic, but uh, mostly economic reports, but not tall cotton, not this, uh, there's a chart, a graph, which I, I can never understand. I'm not a numbers guy, okay? But Daily Reckoning lays things out clearly, and it's just outstanding, absolutely outstanding. So check out Daily Reckoning. Another, I'm, I'm checking my list here for you, brownstone.org. Brownstone.org. Brownstone.org has some of the best analysis on the internet right across the board. Economic, COVID, um, political, it is outstanding. Brownstone.org. Check it out and, and make sure to, to subscribe to them because that is, is an outstanding source of information, news and analysis. And it is, it is actually headed up by the guy whose other website I go to if I were you, and that is Jeffrey Tucker. Jeffrey Tucker is, to me, right now in America, the most outstanding uh, news and anal analyst, I get it right, analyst and commentator uh, that we have. Jeffrey is, he's delightful, he's smart, he's incisive, I mean, he's captivating, everything you wanna watch, Jeffrey Tucker is. And he has a, in addition to brownstone.org, let me get it right, he has jeffreytucker.me. It's just that simple. And it's Jeffrey, by the way, is J-E-F-F-R-E-Y. jeffreytucker.me. You're going to thank me that I sent you to jeffreytucker.me. I, I promise you, I guarantee you, you will. He is that outstanding. I interviewed him on my, I have a political show I do, WashingtonExpose.com, uh, which is another great source of information, but it's it's hardcore, so don't go there unless you're hardcore. But we interviewed him uh, on that show, and it was the best show and the most popular we've ever done. It's a very popular podcast, by the way, and Jeffrey was outstanding. Um, and the other, finally, I'll, I'll recommend Doug Casey's um, International Man. A lot of you are probably familiar with Doug Casey. Doug, to me, is just outstanding. A um, little bit dour, 
<laughs> You're not going to get a smile a minute from Doug, but you are going to get great analysis. Okay. Uh, Lou Rockwell is also great. And, and uh, George Gilder, georgegilderprophecy.com. George, George got to be 90 years old now. His mind is still as sharp as it can be. You know, uh, you know, I'm 75 and he puts me to shame. So check out George Gilder prophecy. Uh, dot com as well. So, so that those are, you know, I get a lot of emails from you. I get a tremendous amount of emails, by the way, folks. And those of you who have written to me know I answer every one of them, and I love, I love hearing from you. So, keep them coming. Give me Carib Carter Seven Number Seven at Gmail dot com. Carib Carter Seven Number Seven at Gmail dot com. Keep them coming, and I get a lot of uh, of. Um, email saying, where should I look for the kind of analysis that you give us in your Mad Max minute, minutes, minutes, uh, every week on Coffee with Carib Carter. And and th those are really key sources for me, key sources for me. And I never, uh, you know, I, I'm not, a, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big watcher of the news on television. I would never, I'd rather cut off my head and watch CNN or MSNBC or any of the three big networks. Occasionally I watch Fox or One American News, my good friend John Hines over there. Um, so those are, those, those are worth looking at. And, uh, and they will, they will uh, provide you with the information you need, okay? If you have one up on everybody around you, it gives you bragging rights because you have all the inside info, okay? So, so, uh, take advantage of that. If it, I would, if I were, I'd take advantage of that. Um, I, so we're going to do housekeeping. So let me give you an update on where, where we are with your club. Okay. And next, then I'm going to go into my thousand dollar listing Caribbean, uh, in just a minute. Cause I, I know all of it. I know from your letters, from your notes to me that you love it. And, and I'm going to put a little perspective for you when we get to it in a minute. But, but first, where we are with your offshore club, it's up to over 125,000 members now, which is phenomenal. Phenomenal. The biggest offshore club in the world. Uh, and, and it's all because of you. It's because you have given me the guidance to say what you want. Okay. Um, and, and your club is lifestyle. It's your club and it's lifestyle. We tell you at at the Offshore Club and the Offshore Club um, Gazette every day on the website and the various interviews I do throughout the week about lifestyle stuff, how you can live offshore, the, the, the thrill of it, the joy of it, the sun, sand, and surf at the good life at a great price. You know, the slogan of your club. Um, by the way, somebody said the other day, what, now wait a minute, is the slogan of our club the good life at a great price or life is better where it's wetter? Well, the slogan of the club is a good life <laughs> at a great price and has been from the beginning. Life is better that where it's wetter is the slogan of Coffee with Carib Carter, the show you're watching right now. OK, that's my slogan. All right. So so there's the difference. But either way, <laughs> your offshore club is all about lifestyle. OK, we talk to you about how to live. And sometimes I get a question like I got one the other day. It was a real good question about want to know the lowdown on country by country permanent residencies. And that when 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 I get a question like that, I direct it over to our sister organization, escapeartists.com. Now, some of you are already familiar with Escape Artist. If you're not, check it out. Escapeartists.com. Escape Artist is more more than lifestyle. It is stuff like second residencies, banking, all that kind of stuff um, that that are things that, that once you get there, you need to know. Some people want second residencies. Um, I, I've owned, I own two homes in Honduras. I've lived there forever. I don't have a second residency, but that's not to say you shouldn't have one, okay? And some people want a second residency. Uh, so, and, and they're just very, like, uh, um, offshore investments, like teak, teak forests, the, the if you go to ecidevelopment.com, ecidevelopment.com, it's Mike Cobb and Joel Nagel's uh, company, and they are, you know, the co-chairs of your offshore club. They have a whole section of that on teak forest investments, which are great investments. Look, the major college endowments, they invest in teak wood. 
The wealthiest people in the country, they invest in teak wood because it's essentially inflation proof. And, and it, the, the, the multiple that it goes up year after year is outstanding, is outstanding. And you don't have the big risk of the confound market, um, which up and down, you, your, your rise is steady. The problem with investing in the market, just to be honest with you, and I'm not Romulus, you know, he'll give you much more on that when I interview him next week. But if you get in at one time and then get out at a bad time, it, that's pretty awful. So, you know, Teak, you're not going to have that problem. Just I'm not going to go any more deeply in that because I'm not an expert on that kind of thing. But check it out at ecidevelopment.com um, be, because it's it's a pretty fascinating investment. It's a pretty fascinating investment. Long-term investment. You know, you know, it's like somebody my age, I would not, I probably would not invest, invest in Teak Forest, okay? And, and ECI Development has them in Panama and I think Nicaragua. I wouldn't invest at my age, okay? Just like I don't wait around for bananas to ripen. But, but if you're younger, it's a great investment with a fantastic return over a 15 to 25 year period, okay? So just think about it and check out ECI Development. That's all, part, you know, your, your offshore club is going to provide you with that kind of information all the time. More of the technical detail stuff, I'll probably direct you over to our sister organization, EscapeArtist.com. You remember we interviewed Charlotte last week, uh, Charlotte Tweed? And so she is fantastic. And, and, and we're going to be interviewing her twice a month, by the way, a little more housekeeping there. So your offshore club is doing great. You're doing great in it. And um, I, I know more and more of you are buying properties offshore. Some of you have bought the properties that I feature on uh, $1,000 listing Caribbean. And, and right now, how's that for a segue? I'm going to tell you about another one, okay? I'm going to tell you about another one that I really, really, really like, okay? Uh, a lot of you asked me about Panama. All right, look. My job with you is always to level with you about my feelings about stuff. Um, obviously, I like Panama. Everybody who loves the Caribbean loves Panama. Big, beautiful country, very modern. The Panama City is a banking, international banking capital. Um, and good cost of living, good cost of living, beautiful homes. The only problem, I'm just leveling with you, uh, the only problem I have with Panama is the prices are a lot more than countries like Nicaragua, Honduras, Ecuador, um, Guatemala, El Salvador, Uruguay. Panama's prices are higher because it's much more westernized, okay? It, it's much more closer to the U.S. than the other countries in Central and South America. Central and South America. That's, that's just the way it is. Uh, that's not saying don't go there, um, but keep that in mind. Okay, your dollar is not going to go as far in Panama as so it's going to go in Honduras or Nicaragua or El Salvador. You're going to have more of the creature comforts probably. Okay, more of the creature comforts. So it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. It's up to you. You know, it's up to you. You, you know, to me, uh, obviously, I love uh, I, Honduras. I own uh, my home in, in El Calan. Uh, I love small community, friendly people, great place. Another home in, in La Ceiba Beach Club, uh, lasebabeachclub.com. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous res residential resort community. And if $2,000 a month, you're going to live like royalty. You're not going to quite do that in Panama, but you are going to live well for just a little more. So let me tell you about one of the places that I'm, that I'm recommending you to take a look at. Again, we're going to, as we so often do, vivion.com. V-I-V-I-U-N.com. I, all, I recommend you check Vivian out once a week at least. Check it out once a week. Um, it's just outstanding. You just type in the country you want up in that little box in the upper right-hand corner. Click on it. Click on real estate holdings and the lists start coming up. Okay. And, and so I do it for you. For you, I do it a bunch of times a week to look around and sometimes I'll find one and I'll do a, a care of Carter Minute on social media, Facebook, Rumble, or LinkedIn for you. So make sure to follow those. Make sure to follow Care of Carter on Rumble, LinkedIn, or Facebook because I will do a uh, 
Karen Carter Minutes, uh, a listing for you, a thousand dollar listing Caribbean. Excuse me a second. Got that stuffy because of the changing weather up here. I wish I were down south, but but as some of you know, I'm at my brother's home here because he broke his hip. So my my wife and I are being caregivers right now, which is a blessing. And thank you all. I've said it. I said it last week, and some of you sent very well wishes, and I, I deeply appreciate it. And he's doing fine. He's going to be fine. Um, but the but this this list I'm going to tell you about today in Panama is in. Uh, a town called Chitre, Chitre, Panama. Okay, it's a town of about nine thousand people. Very nice town, you know. Let me show you. You know, you know, I love my show and tell. So let me just pull up a picture of the town for you. Um, there you go. Here's the. There is where Chitre is. Okay, you see it there. All right, not right on the water. I think you're about. Uh, you know, you may, may be a couple hours from the ocean there, but there's the town itself. Very nice, you know, modern town. Folks, this is everything you want. This town has 9,000 people and has all the modern conveniences, okay? You can be thoroughly modern Melly there. Uh, beautiful little town, beautiful little town. Uh, very friendly and welcoming, every store you can want. Um, so it really is just, uh, you know, you could be somewhere in the U.S. there, all right? Isn't that nice? So, so that's Chitre, and it's known for its festivals, too. You know, it's carnivals, all that kind of stuff. Um, I can tell you from living in Honduras, they love their carnivals, and you will love them, too. They're festive, and they're fun, and they're safe, okay? Uh, and Chitre is famous for, 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 for those. So here we have this home, all right? Um, let me read you a little bit about it. Okay, um, beautiful residence on a uh, large lot. It's the it, the home of the uh, Santa Domingo Cathedral. Uh, ten minute walking distance to the town center. This home is ten minute drive to the nearby city of Chitre. Okay, what, which I just showed you. Turns out this home is actually in Parita. Okay, which is a smaller town, little community, very nice little community. Um, three bedrooms, two baths, kitchen, living room, dining room, and laundry rooms, plus a wraparound porch on an original concrete slab foundation. Okay, so um, all tile floors. Here's a picture of the home. Let's look at the home while I'm reading it to you. Okay, is that a pretty little home? It's very pretty. I say a little, but you know, three bedrooms is a good size, I think. Uh, what what we say here? Three three bedrooms, two baths. That's a good size. It looks a lot like my home in the Sabre Beach Club, doesn't it? Um, which is two bedrooms and one bath. Okay, so here's the living room. Nice living room. Very bright, very pretty, very spacious. Notice the tile floors. Um, fully, the kitchen comes fully equipped. I know people said to me uh, a lot of the the women members of, of uh, the Offshore Club have said, make sure to show us the kitchen. We like kitchens. And I know from my own wife, uh, Angelita, that is true. So there is the kitchen. You can see it's very modern, very well-furnished kitchen, okay? Uh, you can't see them now, but it has a lot of cabinet space as well, okay? So very, very nice kitchen. This is a nice home. This is just a nice home. And... Um, Great floor plan, made with great care and love, and enjoy all the festivities in the nearby town. Uh, beaches are 40 minutes uh, to two hours away, depending upon your taste. Uh, four hours to the capital city of uh, Panama or to Boquete, which where it's fall all year round in Boquete. It's up in the mountains. Very nice area. I, I've always liked Boquete. Um, and here, here is the, I'm going to show you a picture. You're going to say, why, why would we want to see that? The bathroom. Now you might be saying, why is he show why, why is Carab Carter showing us a bathroom? I know this may seem weird to you, but I own two homes, two homes in the US and two in, in uh, Honduras. I'm getting ready to buy hopefully another one in Nicaragua and one up in uh, another one in West Virginia. I always look at the bathroom because if they've kept the bathroom up, see if you agree, see if you agree with this, okay? See if you agree with this. If they've kept the bathroom up, 
and it's in good shape. Uh, it's kind of indicative of how they've kept the house. <laughs> I know some of you may say, what the heck? But honest to God, that is what I have found, okay? That is what I have found. <laughs> it's kind of like, the bathroom was kind of like the canary in the mine, if you will. And so so that's why I showed you that picture. <laughs> At any rate, that's why I showed you that picture. Uh, this this is near the, the uh, Agalito Lake, by the way, only about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and you might want to check on Agalito Lake. Incredible fishing, incredible boating, okay? Lots of boats, lots of fishing. It's a bird sanctuary for those of you who love to watch beautiful birds. And the tropical birds are very beautiful. Uh, I'm not sure about the swimming. I wouldn't I wouldn't swim there, but I don't swim anywhere because I don't like water. Uh, but but check that out. This has, the, the, the long and the short of this, is this is everything you wanted, the terrace, the patio, cable TV, internet, wraparound porch, air conditioning, kind of important, uh, patio, fruit trees, big yard, appliances, everything you can want. Total price, total, total price for this incredible home in a great location, $120,000 total. And it says negotiable. So I'd offer 90. 90. Well, see if you can get it for 90. That home would cost you in the U.S. with everything I've just described, you know, as well as I do. That home in that location, okay, beautiful area, huge lot, all the fruit trees, uh, close to the lake, close to the ocean. Uh, you're looking at two to three hundred thousand dollar home easily, easily. And you got it. You got it for a steal, a steal. Um, use it as as your re primary residence, which is I which is what I would do because I would move there if I were you. I'm just telling you, get out of the U.S., get out while they get this good, uh, or a vacation home, a rental, right? Um, however you want to use it, but check it out. Check it out, vivion.com. Uh, let me see if I was smart enough to get the the number. No, I was not. Um, I apologize. But if you go to uh, vivion.com, just go to Panama and uh, it, the headline says family, vacation or retiree home, um, Chitre Herrera Panama. Just check it out. You'll scroll down. You'll see the price on the right hand side when you see the 120000 That's it. That's it. Check it out. Contact the uh, owner and it may be something you want. That may be the that may be the home of your dreams, just like I found two of them of mine so far, and I'm going to find more because now is the time to make your move offshore, folks. Right now, it's still a buyer's market. It's not going to continue a buyer's market. I my inbox is full of hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of emails from people saying, "Carib Carter, how about if I move here in Central America? How about here in Latin America? What's the best way? Where's the best place to buy a home right now?" And that, that on so it is a buyer's market now. It's not going to continue to be a buyer's market. So get your home first and get the pick of the lot. And then you have it to live in, to enjoy. Or if you want to, as an investment, you're going to be able to sell it for a heck of a lot more a year from now. I'm just promising. I am promising you that my home I bought at the Save a Beach Club, already worth much more. Um, and that brings me to another housekeeping housekeeping item because we're getting ready to close now you know every week on your thousand dollar listing caribbean we look at three kinds of homes there's the one-off this is a one-off okay this is a one-off a one-off is where you're getting your home okay there's the actual listing and it's not in a residential resort community uh and it's i'm not going to say isolated but it it is you don't have a whole community around you, okay? So the one-offs, the one-offs, and I love the one-offs, okay? They're the homes that are in the small towns, like the one I bought now, Cologne, okay? Uh, or the one at VistaBonitaHonduras.com. VistaBonitaHonduras.com, where I bought my first home, is in the town of El Pino. Nice little town, nice little town, okay? Um, and so that's the second. The first is the one-off, maybe a little more isolated, and a lot of us like that. Okay, second is a small town. Third is your residential resort community. That's where everything is provided. Everything is there you'd want. 
There are some that are that are small residential resort communities like LaSabaBeachClub.com. Check it out, LaSaba Beach Club, where I bought my home, and I love it. Uh, or Grand Pacifica, the ultimate residential resort community in Nicaragua. It's a Mike Cobb community, so you know it's good. And everything is there, your coffee shops, your restaurants, stores, everything, right in that big gated community at uh, Grand Pacifica. It's G-R-A-N, there's no D, uh, dot com. So... So there you have it. That's that's what we look for by popular request at your offshore club, because that's the kind of homes you've asked me to continue to look 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 for on your behalf. And and of course I will continue to do it. So there you have it. We're up to thirty minutes. The clock is ticking in front of me. We always end with a motivation minute. I don't. I, there was a great video. I can't play it for you because we don't have our producer today. Um, but. But but it uh, it's Willink. You know how much I love David Goggins, Jocko Willink, um, and it's unstoppable. Check it out; you'll love it. The one thing he says is that the the solution to your problems. You know what the solution to your problems is? You. I love that. I love that because I believe it. The one solution to every problem you have is you. OK, you can do it. You can do it. Trust me when I tell you, you're the solution to any problem you have. You have it within here and within here, in my chest and your chest. OK, uh, and I believe that with all my heart. OK, look, I've had a lot of failures in my life. Thank God I've had successes. But, you know, how you overcome failure, you should get up one more time. You get up one more time. You just keep getting up, okay? And when you do, you realize that the solution to any problem you have is it, as the Unstoppable video says, check it out, David Goggins, Jocko uh, Willink, W-I-L-L-I-N-K. Solution to any problem you have is you, okay? Including the problem of getting stuck on shore when you want to be moving offshore. You're the solution. So as I always tell you every week, let's do this thing. And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us at the Offshore Club. For more information on the Offshore Club or to contact Carib Carter, visit www.offshore.club today. www.offshore.club. That's www.offshore.club. See you next time at the Offshore Club.